Okay, hey, 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 it's another Sunday night. They just keep coming around and here we are in April. How about that? Come on in and join me. Terry Ann Hyman from the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook and Natural Forces Studio. Welcome guys. It's Sunday night. How we doing? Holiday weekend, blue full moon. What are you noticing about that moon, huh? How's it going? really is a beautiful moon out there coming up again tonight we're still in that energy very spiritual moon out there this is a full moon that gosh led the way opening up to freedom it also opens us right up into that renewal energy of Easter so where is it for you whether it's just a big old full moon out there whether it's just a calendar who knows whatever it is for you it's that same energy right no matter where you are Notice where you can open up to that. Come on in. We had a beautiful day down here in the south. I don't know, probably somewhere in the 80s. I was outside. I feel like I'm a little congested. I was cutting all these beautiful, see these beautiful, beautiful dogwoods and azaleas. Yeah, cutting them around, cutting them out, breathing them in, meditating, lots of meditating today. Yes, feels good to drop that stress off because, you know, <laughs> There is a lot of challenges going on. There is a lot of energy out there. Really is a lot going on. Do you notice it for yourself? I think it's more than just the full moon, but I think the second full moon of the month is really pulling on us and where it's heading to. I believe it's in Libra, I think I read. Libra is that balance, liking to find it. So if you're not feeling imbalanced or you have some things going on, you could feel a little bit off sorts, right? What do you think? How y'all doing? Hey, Millie. Hey, Sean. Thanks for coming in and joining us. So yeah, this is an interesting week. This is an interesting time that we're going through right now, really asking us to look deep into ourselves, to find that balance, to open up. So I know for myself, I get really vulnerable in this uh in this podcast coming up this week, I actually had the awesome opportunity to interview Dr. Jacob Lieberman. He's been a light teacher of mine. He has a new book coming out, Luminous Light. No, Luminous Life. There we go. Yeah, so he's on my show this week. And in it, he works, he's, he's a very known science visionary. He's also coming from an optometrist background. And my dad actually went to the same school as him. Kind of interesting coincidences we found there. But I actually share something about myself that gets really vulnerable. And really, he was very, very, I liked how he, he answered my questions about it. So check out that podcast this week. It's really a great interview. His book is just loaded, loaded with great information about consciousness, about light. What is light, right? Is it just what we see with our eyes? Great stories in there about that. He also talks about, right, you know, the spiritual light, the light, the consciousness, the opening up. He also talks a lot about color therapy. If you guys know me, I love color therapy. I really, I didn't even get all my questions answered from him. The interview is a little longer than normal, but really as I share where I'm coming from right now and what's going on, with me and his take on it, it was very comforting. And his message really was just about really treating each other with respect and with love because that's really what matters, that connection. And the light is so important in any aspect of how you see it. It feeds our cells, it feeds our body, it feeds plants, yeah. So that's the interview coming out this week. Hopefully I'm gonna get it up there with the holidays, it's pushing me a little bit. But what do you notice for you right now? As this light gets full, what is it for you? Are you feeling good about it? Are you opening up to it? Is it taking you deeper within? What are you noticing? Where in your life are you seeing that light show up as well? Those are some of the questions I pose to you tonight on this blue full moon. Our cards are very interesting. So let me know what you're feeling. I'm also super excited to start the spiritual challenge. The five-day challenge is going to start tomorrow. I'm very excited about that. If you're not on the list and not getting the emails, check out the link below. You'll get the emails. We've been having fun all week collecting different elements, fire, air, earth, and water. I call them a few, air, fire, earth, water, get it? To help you build your spiritual space, I'm going to change this up a little bit and build a new spiritual space. That's where we're going to start tomorrow. So if you're not in the group, come on over in the group. I'll be posting in there. I think the consensus was in the uh, later part of the day, 6 p.m., which I can make most days. I may have to change a little round on Wednesday and Thursday. But I will be posting, it will be Facebook Live, so the videos will be there. But if you want to have a copy of the email, if you want to have the procedures to go through yourself, be sure to get in there. Very excited. I think it's important right now 
that we have these challenges for ourselves, right? Not many people do spiritual challenges, I know. Most people are doing like, you know, weight loss or gym or whatever. But this one's a good opportunity to really reconnect with yourself. I'm going to make it fun. I'm going to make it easy. Because if it's hard, you won't keep it up. And I don't want it to be hard. It doesn't have to be. And I know for myself right now, I know for many people that I'm talking to, challenges can get in the way. And challenges can be a time when people are like, what the heck? But this isn't doing me any good, right? And I know I can get that way sometimes too. Yes, I'm being vulnerable. I admit it, right? Sometimes you can go like, I work so hard for what, right? Those kind of feelings. And that's just about the time that these challenges can be really, really important. They really can be. And I'm looking forward to that and offering that, building that community around that. Yeah, so listen, share this out with everybody. Share this out with people that you know might know that might need it. I'm looking for it on Facebook. Hit the share button. Invite them into the group. Those that post the most are going to win a little bonus from me. Yep. All right. Control C. Share. I'll be right there. All right. Hold on. Yeah. So do the same for me. Share it out if you don't mind. I think it would be awesome. I'm going to have people come join us. He has some very interesting cards. Maybe it will help them to move through their week. Maybe it will help them to open up as well. One more share here, and then I can share it later. Group, yep, that's the Empowered Spirit group. So if you're not in it, come on over. If you want to join in on the, there we go. If you want to join on the challenge, that's where you need to be. All right, so let me know how you're feeling tonight. Did you get some Easter eggs today? Did you get a chance to get out there? Did you get some sunshine? I know for me, laying in the medicine wheel felt so good. Meditating a couple of hours, just dropping the stress, dropping everything that's been building up inside. Yes, it's been an intense year. Can you believe we've already gone through the first quarter? Here we are already in April. Okay, where's Z Girl Astrology tonight? She got me. Did you check out her blog, guys? She's talking about a lavender moon coming forward. Did you check it out? Very interesting this week. Look for Sea Girls Astrology. Look for her blog post about it. I know it's on Facebook. Very interesting that she posted that right now. I think it's very funny. Lavender is very healing. Check out and let me know what you think about it as well. All right. So I see a couple people in. Any questions? Any comments, guys? How you feeling? How you doing out there? All right, I know for myself, it's very intense right now. Passover is always intense for me. I don't know if it's the matzo balls or what. All right, but anyway, how was it for you? So as we go through this week, we, yes, she got me too, eh? <laughs> as we go through this week, we're going to see that Mercury retrograde energy really intense. So careful of your words, careful of your communication. I know I got a lot of that going on around here. So be careful as you start the week off that way, all right? When you go back to work, a lot of people are coming back from vacation. Maybe you took off for the weekend for the holidays. But as you go back into the week, it's going to be a pretty productive week in many respects. But be careful again of your communicating and how you set yourself up. Careful not to sign any new contracts still. You can get work done, though. It's, it's a good time to renew, refocus, clean off your desk, that kind of energy. Definitely recycle, spring cleaning, all of that kind of energy, especially as we come into the beginning of the week and move through. So this is kind of the intense part of the whole retrograde. We're kind of building up at that energy, and then we'll finally, you know, we'll start to see it come down, but we still have about two more weeks of it. I think I read from Armand, his integral astrology report was talking about the beginning of April and the end of April are going to feel totally different. So those first 15 days, we're still in that, and then we're going to start to see it move out. Sean's saying that you needed a lot of water this weekend. I did too, Sean. I have to admit, I did too. I didn't know if that was outside or what. But I've been drinking it myself. Yes, we need it. We need it to process energy. That's for sure. All right. So as you go through this week, again, remember Monday to be productive, to watch your words. Be careful what you say to others. That impulsive energy may want to come just to kind of say what's on your mind. But think before you do. As you move through the week, be productive in your work. And then we'll have another fun, easy weekend coming up for us as well. All right, so let's just take a moment. One of the things that um, I notice that I'm working a lot with, a lot with my clients with as well, and actually it came up in the cards, which I think is kind of fun, is the energy of forgiveness, right? Right now is a really big time as we move through 
the energy of that freedom. Sometimes we have to forgive the sacrifices we make. Sometimes we have to forgive those that have put sacrifices on us as well. So that forgiveness energy is really important. So I think that tonight in our meditation, let's just come into that gratitude because gratitude is one of the things that can help lift that energy. Part of the Hopoopona. I've been working with that for myself. If, whoops, if you're not familiar with that, let me know. Post below and I can send you some information on it. Very powerful. From the Hawaiian kahunas, the energy of the Hopoopona, forgiveness technique. But let's just work with gratitude. That's one of the parts, is offering gratitude for the things that come up in your life. So wherever you are, if you can, let's just take a nice deep inhale. And just exhale away. Inhaling, taking a moment, calling back your energy from the week. Calling it back from the weekend, calling it all back and begin to align that spiritual body with the physical body. Take a nice deep inhale, bring that breath all the way up the body and exhale, send it all the way back down, deep into the earth. Slowing down, very important right now, inhaling. And as you exhale, just center that energy, feel the alignment, shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feet and feet, calling back your energy, releasing the anxiety, the stress of the week, inhaling and exhaling. And let us just take a moment and offer that gratitude, offer gratitude for where you are right now, good, bad, or indifferent. We're all the same. We all have stuff going on. Inhaling, offer gratitude for the light that is around you. Exhaling away. Inhaling, offer gratitude for this beautiful spring, for the flowers that are outside that are opening up. And just exhale away, let the rest fall away. Inhaling, so we honor that direction of the east where the sun rises, where we set our new ideas out. Exhale away. Feel yourself slowing down. Inhaling. We honor the east, the south, the west, and the north. Above us, below us, calling in right into the very center. Just taking a moment and offering gratitude for your life. Good, bad, or indifferent, right here in this present moment, you have all that you need. Inhaling and exhaling call in your guides ask them to guide you this week as you move through all this retrograde energy to be wise in your words to be wise in your voice to be open in your heart inhaling and exhaling and as you see that moon come up tonight set out your intentions feel the fullness of your life and offer gratitude even if you don't know what to ask for, just offer gratitude. It's a beautiful ascending vibration. Inhaling and exhaling, sending the breath all the way down, deep into the earth. Feel yourself centering for the week. Inhaling, let the rest go and exhaling. Coming back. Just feel that easiness coming forward. Feel the breath. We have to slow down. We just have to slow down. Yeah. So today when we look at the cards, feel your feet flat on the floor coming back. Those just joining us. We're gonna look at the cards now. If you didn't get to choose one, two, or three, go ahead. We're back to the wild unknown. I can't seem to stay away from it for very long. So the card that is universal for all of us right now, very interesting that it comes up now on Passover and Easter, I love it, but it is the devil card. And this card really reminds us, it reminds us of the addictions in our lives and how easy it is to turn to those addictions when we're in trouble or when we feel challenged, but it also is the energy of self-sabotage. Hey Thelma, hey Victoria, nice to see you guys. It also, and I just got a text, I got a little distracted. It's also the energy of self-sabotage. Where are you self-sabotaging your life? And lots of times it comes in the mind. Where are you getting in your own way? Look at his feet. Look at the red and the yellow. I guess this is what, like a ram, a goat with those thorns. 
those horns. Look at the red and the orange and the yellow. Like, you know, you're, you're burning up your ground. You're burning up your survival mechanisms, right? When we self-sabotage, when we turn to those outside sources. So that's kind of the influence for us all right now, to look at that energy. Where are you maybe getting into a little bit of that? Is it in your thoughts? Are you really talking yourself out of all your work? Or is it going even further and getting into other addictions, right? Are we partying a little too much, eating a little too much, maybe shopping a little too much? Those tend to be the normal addictions that people tend to go to when things just aren't going right. Or maybe you're feeling lonely or maybe you're feeling isolated and disconnected. I know those are the ones that can sometimes come up for me. And so I have to kind of look at it and see. So this is a reminder right now to check in with that for yourself. Where can you release those? Gratitude again, the Ho'oponopono. If you want to know about the Ho'oponopono, just post below and I'll, I'll post some more about it. It's just a beautiful technique. It really is. All right, so if you chose one, this card kind of feeds right into it. It's the Five of Swords. All right, this card is all about... Again, it's kind of like cutting off the energy of where you are. It could also mean that you're into or you're thinking about or you're working on some kind of project that's really not serving you. And it's time to cut it away. Cut it off, right? It's almost like, you know, those earthworms too. And we cut off our head despite our bodies, right? Or that saying, whatever that is, right? It's that kind of energy too, which feeds right into that self-sabotage. But the way to get around this is to look at what it is that's cutting you off. What is it that you really are putting a lot of energy into that's not working? And that really is what this card can help you to understand. If there's something you're questioning, cut it. Time to be done with it, all right? Because that is getting into some of that self-sabotage energy. All right, if you pick the second card, this is the forgiveness card. This is the judgment, which is all about forgiveness, right? And forgiveness doesn't make us right or wrong. It frees the energy. It frees the energy. So offer forgiveness to whatever it is that you are self-sabotaging. Maybe it's just yourself, all right? Forgive yourself, right? For getting into that energy. Forgive yourself for holding grudges. For me, so there's been some resentment going on. So I'm starting to look at where that resentment is and just offering that forgiveness, offering that light, offering that and really like thanking it for showing up because then we learn. Those are the lessons. So that's what this card is. It's the judgment card. It's a major arcana, but really it's not about judging. It's about releasing that forgiveness so that it can free up. Look how it goes from the dark the dark to the light. It frees up energy. I'm trying to find a way. There we go. So if that's the card you drew, you, drew, you picked, number two, know that that forgiveness is going to free up that self-sabotaging energy. It makes sense, right? It definitely makes sense. All right, if you drew the third card, and really these cards are for all of us to tell you the truth, the third card is the Ace of Swords. Now this card is all about a new thought, a new beginning, a new project, right, coming up. More in the mental plane, which is great because as you get rid of that self-sabotage, you can come into a new thought, new passion. Look at the lightning bolts, bang, look at the color coming forward. So it is time to change the thoughts. It is time to start with something fresh, all right? Definitely a great card to help us work through that self-sabotage energy. They're just flying all out of my hands tonight. All right, so let's just put it all together for all of us, and maybe all of the cards can help you to look at the story of what is going on for you right now. The first card is the devil card. So where are those sabotages in your life? Where are those addictions getting in your way of what you really want to do, right? And lots of times we have to look beneath the surface, all right? It may not so much be about the food we eat, but why, right? What's the emotional energy? All right, what is going on for you that you need to process and get out of your way? Is it in the mental plane? Where is it for you? All right, if you picked one, that's the five of swords. And this is like kind of telling you that needs to be done. All right, there's something project that's just not working, that's really draining you. Time to cut it away. Look how it takes that earthworm, cuts it away. All right, if you don't, you're going to feed into that self-sabotage. You're just going to keep finding yourself getting in your own way. So time to cut it. It's done, all right? The second card is that forgiveness card. I just love this. The judgment card. It's like release the judgment. Look at the birds flying up. Look at the higher light there. This is all about forgiveness. And again, forgiveness makes no one right. It just frees the energy and it offers you the opportunity to look beneath and see what that lesson is and to thank it for showing up. And then the third card is the Ace of Swords. It is all that energy about new thought. Look at the look at the lightning bolts coming forward. So as you release what's self-sabotaging you, you can open up and bring that new energy into your life. Really important right now. I think the universe is super sensitive. 
What about you? Have you noticed that? Even if you don't say stuff out loud, do you sometimes feel like the energy of what you're thinking is being picked up? I think that's happening to a lot of us right now. Super sensitive. I'm actually doing another challenge with one of my teachers right now coming up. We're starting tomorrow morning at like 5 a.m. about not getting caught at any of that energy. We're doing a project here, a challenge, where we're only focusing on that positive vibration and we're really documenting what it is. I'll be reporting on that as well. Hey, Christine, nice to see you in here too. All right, guys, we do have some challenging times. We're at the beginning of the Aquarian Age. Do we think it was going to be easy? It's not. But stay strong to your practice. Come over and join us. I'm super excited about the challenge. I've had a lot of people commenting. Post your pictures. Post your pictures. I love pictures. Post them in the group. Christine, you did. I love seeing that heart-shaped candle holder. It gives everybody ideas. It lets us see that creating sacred spaces is really up to you. It's creative, right? We can open up. We can really bring in the things that make us feel good. I'm really excited to kind of change mine up and clear it out. And that's exactly where we start with the spiritual challenge. It is going to be fun. It's not going to be hard. Again, if we make it hard, then nobody's going to keep up with it. This is a way to really open up so that you can build this practice for you. Open up to your gifts. Open up to your intuition. Really important. All right, guys. Let me know if anybody wants a card really quick. My battery's running low. I didn't even check it. I've been at the lake all day. Hello to you. Let me know really quick before I leave. Be sure to check out, if you didn't listen to, Christine is on here. If you didn't listen to our podcast last week about her spiritual experience, it was absolutely beautiful. It really brought tears to both of us. Check that out. You can find that on the Empowered Spirit Show. Definitely. And if you have a spiritual experience you want to share with me, let me know. Right, Christine? It was awesome. And I really appreciate you being vulnerable. And we continue a little bit with that vulnerability right into the podcast this week. Luminous Life with Dr. Jacob Leob. Lieberman, very interesting what he has to share about the medical field, about light, about sun, and about vision, the invisible or the visible, either way. All right, let's see, Mindy, I see y'all take a card for my battery runs out. Thanks, Christine. I appreciate you too. I love having y'all support. You know what? We all need it. Sometimes I even get to where I need myself to be supported. All right, very interesting, Mindy. This is a death card. Don't get flipped out. This is just about transformation, all right? Just about something is changing within you. What can that be? And when we know about the death card, when we know about those changes, we can help shed that skin. And then underneath is what kind of comes forward. This is a beautiful time of year for this to come forward. It really is. So honor that part of you that needs to transform. If you don't know what that is, look for some help. And that spiritual practice that we're talking about, that can help you as well. All right, Thelma, here we go. Thelma, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. This is building your building your craft, building your skills, building that pentacle energy, right? Nice abundance. It's lining up very nicely. What are you working on? Whatever it is, keep going because it's in a good place for you. Keep building those skills. I love this. Seven is also Seven is also our spiritual energy, so keep building your spiritual skills as well. All right, Borita, I'm going to draw a card for you. Hopefully my battery won't die. Oh, I love this one. This is one of my favorites too. Six of Pentacles. All right, this is a very abundant card. Look at the growth. Look at the blossom. Six is about change. So keep doing what you're doing and keep growing that energy forward. Really important. This is like that be fruitful and multiply card, right? See that? It's two threes. Look at the beautiful. It appears the pentacles as pierces as flowers. There's growth. This is also community work. Get out there in the community, all right? And, and offer the work that you do. All right. All right, Mindy, you are welcome. Transform. It's all around us all now, right? I think it's great when we can open up to a bigger part of who we are and transform that energy. All right. So definitely the spiritual challenge starts in the Empowered Spirit Circle tomorrow. Please come over. I'm going to actually go live in the evening. That seems to be the choice. All right. And we'll be starting by creating a sacred space. So gather your elements. Get on the list if you want to know what I'm talking about. The links are in the um, notes below. Come on and join us. Check out the podcast from last week with Christine or check out the one coming forward. Subscribe. You'll get it. And again, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. This work supports me too and all that I do and really keeps me strong so that I can support you. It's a circle. It's a giving and receiving. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Happy holidays. Enjoy that full moon as it comes forward. I'll see you tomorrow in the Empowered Spirit Circle as we start our challenge to your spirit. Thank you guys. Namaste.